Hi, in this energy gel review video, we are unsurprisingly going to be reviewing some energy gels on video. And the energy gels we're reviewing today are the Science in Sport Go Isotonic Gel and the High Five Iso Gel. Now, these two gels on the surface, they, they do the same thing. They're both energy gels, so something you would take for a quick burst of energy while cycling or running. Um, and they're both isotonic. Now, you don't really need to worry about the isotonic bit. All that means is they put more water in these, so they're a bit waterier. Um, moving on, most energy gel reviews at this point would now go into looking at the taste, the texture, the, uh, the number of carbohydrates, and, and what the manufacturers would say about how that is absorbed. Now, if that's what you want, there are a thousand other videos out there that will tell you that. That's not what we're going to be doing now. Because what we want to look at here today is what's really in these things. What, what are the ingredients? Now, if you know anything about an ingredients label, you'll know that they're listed in order of magnitude. So the biggest ingredient, the one that there is the most of in the product, goes first, and all the way down to the one that there is least of being the last on the list. Um, now, we're not going to go through every single ingredient, but let's just look through some highlights from the beginning to the end. If we look at the science and sport gel here, it's water, maltodextrin, uh, then there is some um, acidity regulator, some citric acid in this case, uh, preservatives, sodium, benzoate, and potassium sorbate, and then some sweetener. Uh, and in this case, in the high five gel, well, what have we got? We've got water, we've also got maltodextrin again, we've got acidity regulator again, in this case uh, there's some citric acid in there, and there are also those preservatives, potassium sorbate, sodium benzoate, so um, a huge, huge crossover. Uh, so much so you could almost say these are virtually the same. They are water, they are maltodextrin, there's a little bit of preservative in there, a little bit of acidity regulator. Now in this case there's a tiny bit of caffeine in here, in this case, they're using a bit of uh, a different sweetener, but those are down way down the list in the tiny ingredients. So, huge crossover. Now, what else do we have in common with energy gels? What else do you find with energy gels regularly? Well, it is an accepted problem for so many athletes that they suffer stomach upset, nausea, or, or anything else when using these products. Um, now, is there anywhere else in your life where if a food that you ate routinely had a very good chance of making you feel ill, you'd use it again. Let me think for no time at all. That would be never. If a food did that to you in any other walk of life, you would normally avoid that food. It's, it's pretty standard. Yet in uh, and the world of energy gel, this, this stomach trouble issue is so common that uh, High Five even helpfully write on the packaging uh, consumers directed to avoid gastrointestinal upset. Uh, that's how common the problem is. So if we go beyond this, uh, these are both energy gel. Uh, they both contain almost exactly the same ingredients, uh, despite being different brands. And there's a heavy issue with stomach trouble with energy gel. Well, I wonder, could the ingredients have anything to do with it? Well, I mean, that's a crazy idea, surely not. Um, I wonder what is maltodextrin? Why it's a man-made sweetener originally derived from uh, something like corn or maybe wheat. Um, and it causes several problems. First of all, it's basically uh, vitamin negative. This means you will use more vitamins and minerals digesting it than you will get from it. So let's just run that through again. These products, one of their main ingredients is something that actually strips nutrients from the body. At the time when you need the most you're effectively giving your body even less. Um, it doesn't really make any sense. And then it goes a bit further because maltodextrin is also uh, very damaging to gut bacteria, the very thing that helps our immune system function, that helps us uh, digest our food. Uh, it's really like dropping a bomb on that. So again, at a time when your stomach is struggling, um, you're gonna give it something that's gonna actively make the mechanisms of your body worse. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but it might explain why a lot of people suffer using these products. But if we go on a little bit further, what about these preservatives? Sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate. Well, again, these are linked to a number of health issues, um, from being linked to cancer, to damaging blood cells, to uh, causing cell mutation, DNA damage. And clearly, you will find as much evidence saying that these ingredients are absolutely fine. I mean, they are, after all, 
legally approved food additives, uh, you'll find as much evidence saying they're fine as evidence saying they're really, really quite terrible for you. Um, so rather than weigh it all, there's a pretty simple equation at play here, which is there's a 50% chance that the stuff saying these ingredients are bad is true, and there's a 50% chance the stuff saying it's fine is, is true also. So what that means is really you're weighing a 50% chance that the stuff in here is really bad for you. Um, is that a gamble you'd take anywhere else in your life? 50% uh, chance you're going to get run over on your way to work. Well, you'd probably find a different way to get to work. 50% um, chance these ingredients are bad. Uh, good chance you're going to get stomach trouble. Um, products are virtually identical. It's all starting to stack up into a bit of a smoking gun. Anyway, for all those reasons, that's why for us at 33 Shake, we threw those products away. We spent a long time using them, trialing them, trying to get on with them, and coming back to the same problems that everyone else has. And the more we looked at the ingredients, we realized exactly why there were these problems. Because if you eat really bad ingredients, if you eat junk food, what are you going to get? You're going to get junk results. So we set about making a completely natural energy gel, a completely natural and powerful sports nutrition product products that deliver huge amounts of health and huge amounts of increased performance. So when we came to Energy Gel, we have this, the 33 Shake Cheer Energy Gel, and we make this with just four ingredients. They're all natural, they're real food. Chia seeds, coconut, palm sugar, Himalayan pink salt, and organic vanilla. It really is as simple as that. So if you find you have stomach trouble or you don't enjoy your energy gels, why don't you check us out? You'll find us at 33shake.com. That's 33shake.com. And just in the interest of fairness and transparency, if you want more high five or science in sport or goo or any of the other identical sports nutrition brands out there that are all making the same products out of the same crappy ingredients, you can find them online too. The choice is yours. We hope that we'll see some of you very soon.